All right, now Samsung has released a very important update for the always on display. And this update is currently available on the Galaxy S24 Ultra that you see here. This is running on One UI 7 uh, beta version, 6 beta. And the Galaxy S23 Ultra is running on the uh, One UI 7 beta 2. And this one, the Galaxy S25 Ultra, is on One UI 7 stable version. Now, the reason I have got all these three phones is I wanted to let you know, guys, that the uh, always on display version that we currently have on the S25 series stable version of One UI 7 is not the latest version. Now before I show you the update, let me first quickly show you the always on display versions. Now this is the S24 Ultra we have got here. Let's go to lock screen and AOD and tap on AOD here. And we have got the version number, let's tap on about always on display. This is 8.8.40.5. And if we check the always on display version on the S25 series, let me tap on about always on display. As you can see, this is 8.8.25.5. So the S25 series is still running on the older version of always on display, whereas on the S24 Ultra and the S23 Ultra, let me just show you this as well. Lock screen and AOD, always on display about always on display. You can see this is also running on 8.8.40.6. Now it's really important to have the latest version because if you have the older version, this impacts the now bar. And that is the reason Samsung has introduced another update for always on display. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's go to the Galaxy Store here. I'll tap on updates. Uh, now here you can see this is always on display update. I will tap on this. The latest version is 8.8.42.4. And it says optimized memory usage when using the now bar for sports. That is the reason this update is very, very important. Now, many of us have been complaining that the sports score on now bar is not refreshing properly and it is not showing us the live scores. And probably this update will rectify that issue. Let's scroll down here. Uh, the update was received on 14th April and the size is 29.79 uh, MB. Let me go ahead and update this. Now, this was kind of interesting because it said optimized memory usage when using the now bar for sports. I was wondering how does this use memory for sports on now bar? So what I did was I looked it up on the internet. So Google says, while AOD doesn't directly consume memory in the traditional sense, like apps running in the background, it can indirectly impact memory management. The constant screen activity can cause a slightly faster bat battery drain, which might lead a phone to clear less frequently used applications from the memory to conserve resources. So if the applications are running in the background, which shows some information on the always on display, then the battery consumption will be higher. Due to which the phone will try to shut down the uh, applications which are running in the background so that it conserves some battery. And maybe because of that, the sports from Google was not able to refresh the live scores. That is what I think. So I could be wrong here. You guys let me know if you have a better understanding about this. Now I have updated this. Let's go to the settings here and I'll tap on now bar and we have got sports from Google here. Let me tap on this and tap on sports from Google settings. And here we'll be able to follow our sports. We can select the team. And whenever there is a live match, whenever there is live score, it will show up right here on the live notification panel. And we can also see this on the lock screen. And when the phone goes to always on display, this uh, live score will be available on the always on display as well. As you can see, this was the previous match. Uh, I can just double tap and tap on this to expand this. And this will also go into AOD. As you can see, this larger panel will also sync into the AOD. And the phone does need the uh, sports from Google to run in the background to show the score on the screen. And you can also see this panel keeps shifting a bit so that it doesn't burn the screen. Every few seconds you will see this particular panel and the uh, AOD clock will be shifting its position a bit so that it doesn't affect the screen. So we don't have to be worried about the now bar or uh, any of the elements on the AOD burning your screen. Samsung has already taken care of this. So with the all new update to this always on display, the live score should work properly and it should be refreshing the score now frequently. This is something I want to share with you guys in this video. Uh, let me know what do you think. Have you got this update or not? Drop a comment. I think currently this is available only on the Galaxy S24 series. I don't see this update on the S23 series. And on the S25 series also, we do not have this update. Let me check that. 
Let's go to the update section here. Now we don't have it. We have an update for continuity services. So the latest version of always on display is currently available on the Galaxy S24 series. And we should be getting those latest version of the applications, the music player compatibility on the live notifications and the all new battery bar on the S25 series. We will be getting it with the April security patch on the Galaxy S25 series. I will keep you posted about that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. You get to learn a lot about your devices, new updates, tips and tricks and everything that is happening with your phone. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and become a part of Apex community. And do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers. Yesterday I did add many wallpapers as you can see here it just got refreshed and there are some uh, new wallpapers added yesterday free as well as premium wallpapers have been added you can go ahead and check it out on the Volvo's application the link is in the description and yeah do not forget to hit that like button for this video i would really appreciate that thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe i'll see you in the next one soon cheers bye bye